Just 668%. We meet every Tuesday morning. Some teams will meet bi-monthly, other teams will meet every week. It's about a 45 minute meeting. What's expected is in those meetings is that they begin to plan or discuss results of, of something they've done. Which is the better answer. In order to help the U.S. consumers of bananas, the United States would likely A, increase the cost of U.S. goods traded with Ecuador, B, eliminate the tariff on bananas imported from Ecuador, C, put an excise tax on bananas grown in the United States, D, discourage world competition for the U.S. banana market. I'm impressed I got an 84%. I got a 72 and I was very happy very with it. Very thrilled. I was like, Seventy percent. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, we tend we tend to be around seventy-five, eighty percent for our desired goal anyway, don't we? That's usually. But our it target. does scratch my head that they got the same number right on this one as the EU question on economics. It's like how <laughs> they really? Yeah, I principle of guessing on both. I don't know. They got lucky on the one, but because I could just see. I mean, I we it's not covered. Yeah. There's just... Should we add excise tax and tariffs to our vocab yes. list? Yeah. Even if this ends up being a vocab list for our sophomores before they go into OGTs? I don't even know. Do you like have it. last year's common assessment? I do. Could you see if we've improved at all as an overall on question number six? Let me pull that out. I think I might even actually have everybody's together. 27 out of 75 missed it. So that's uh, 64%, correct? Right? Yeah. But this is that thesis stuff, and I thought we were targeting. Did we do a common assessment with just these questions on it? Like thesis type questions? Mm -hmm. No. So let's next year, when we teach the concept of thesis, in the middle of doing that paper, put these thesis questions right directly on there and then talk about them. I'd like them to set those goals, the goals to be the same. The results are obviously going to be a little bit different, but when they meet again, they can look back at that assessment that, that, that they created and see where they're at. If for whatever reason one group is not, is not successful, maybe they need to go back and reteach. What my students said messed this up for them, a higher price for crops. If they're buying all this expensive equipment, they're paying more for the equipment it's passed on to the consumer. That's what threw them. And that's where my kids have, getting, have gotten stuck in the past, is they're rushing. They don't stop to read all four choices and then evaluate between the two good ones, which one is better. Well, maybe that's what we want to do with the common assessments, just specifically target that. I'm going to put this I'm on my quiz on Friday. And see how they did mm -hmm. after yeah. it's taught. This was one of the worst of all of them for me. Which one, number seven? The landfill question, yes. Really? Yes, they did terrible on this. This, without even looking at like the data, you can tell it's already going to be a reading issue. Kids are going to want, especially as a practice. They're, gonna, they're just going to say, I'm, not, I'm done. Correct. That's what I wish I knew. I wish it was one of those, I didn't understand what I was reading, or I was just looking at this thinking, it's a Too practice test, I'm just going to take a guess and move on. You, you know what, like, Doug passed out one year. I, know, I think that's I might what I'm have. Looking. I think I have it. Like, what are you thinking as you answer this question? Like, but if they're, they're not going to take time, to, oh, I'm not going to read all this, you think they're going to take time to be honest with us? Right. And how they're reflecting. But we could think about adding that. Okay. There's always. That's a good idea. I don't know. It might, it might be easier just to take a day and talk to them. Hey, what did you do on this question? It'd probably be the easiest. Teachers are able to sit down with the students. They have a good understanding of what's expected of them, the students that is. They can figure out exactly why or, or what went wrong uh, with, with each lesson. So how do you think these meetings help impact student learning and student achievement? Well, the better we are, the better they do. Quite simply. We know now, like you said, with the bias, you now have ideas of how to tackle that. The students are going to get better. Yeah, I just, I think what it does for the students is that it holds us accountable and them too. For us to say, okay, this is where our strengths and weaknesses lie, we can address those weaknesses. I mean, without this, I don't think those weaknesses would get addressed. Or even if I was aware of a deficiency, I may not have the ideas as to how to implement some, you know, some changes that would benefit the students. So. Everything we do is kind of centered on, you know, if the students aren't achieving, if they're not successful, if they're not learning, what do we do to resolve that? Well, and I think the fact that we know that we have to sit down and hold each other accountable, it does force us to, to reflect. And by doing that, that's only going to improve uh, our assessment techniques for the next time around or the next year. Most of our teachers believe the goal, the short cycle assessment, is a great tool for them because they can look back and see what 
what concepts are, are being taught or what concepts are being learned and what concepts are not. That's a great tool because it's quick, it's, that's an easy assessment. It doesn't have to be written, it could be a verbal, uh, it could be a quick show what you know on the way out of class and then all the way up to a formal assessment, you know, chapter test or obviously the OGT. Thank you.